Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. 10 Most Controversial Statues in the World Statues are traditional and conventional around the world. Everyone has seen at least a dozen but can't remember more than a couple. Most of them are downright dull and meaningless. However, today we're going to show you a few statues that are hard to ignore. In today's video, we will show you the 10 most controversial statues in the world. There are more than a few historical controversies, as well as a few hypocrite perspectives on homage. It's impossible to deny how subjective it can be to honor someone or some cultural past, but when it comes to basic ethics, most of the statues we are going to show you are polemic. Should they even exist? Enjoy the video and let us know your opinion in the comments below. Number 10. Mount Rushmore in South Dakota Mount Rushmore is, for sure, one of the most iconic American monuments. At the 10th spot today, we brought you the polemics behind it. If we look back to history, we will find out that the US government promised the Black Hills to the Sioux in the 1868 treaty. Part armistice, part scam, the Sioux were outrageously deceived. The cherry on top of that dark episode is the Mount Rushmore Monument. In short, the US government lied to the Sioux and some decades later sculpted American heroes' faces on a sacred mountain for the Sioux. Adding to the polemics, Gutzon Borglum had a few dark secrets. Mr. Borglum was the sculptor responsible for the great Founding Fathers' visages. Recent studies suggest that he had strong ties with white supremacist organizations, more specifically with the Ku Klux Klan. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 9. The Crazy Horse Memorial in South Dakota Crazy Horse was a notable Native American hero, yet his memorial hasn't been finished after more than 70 years. At the night spot, we brought you its story. Construction on the Crazy Horse Memorial began in 1948 on the Black Hills in South Dakota. Since its design, it was projected to be among the most prominent sculptures in the world. Many would think that the Crazy Horse Memorial would balance karma regarding Mount Rushmore's work in Sioux territory. However, critics claim that a Sioux leader wouldn't like to dynamite a sacred mountain. It would be like another offense to his legacy. Despite criticisms, the work began, but the sculptor in charge chose to restrict funding to private donors. According to different sources, Korchak Ziolkowski chose private funding because Gutzon Borglum, the man behind Mount Rushmore, struggled with federal funding. So, we have an endless journey to a memorial we don't know if it's more offensive than honoring. And as there are no reliable pictures from Crazy Horse, we can't even tell if the monument resembles him. Number 8. The Valley of the Fallen in Spain The Valley of the Fallen in Spain is a memorial for the Spanish Civil War victims. Thousands fell throughout the infamous war, led by one of the most cruelest tyrants in recent history, Francisco Franco. Franco led a coup against the Popular Party in the 1930s and ruled Spain until he died in 1975. The dictator not only led the cruelest civil war we have heard of, but continued his vile practices against his political opponents for decades. Then, in 1975, the Valley of the Fallen became his tomb, a memorial that he shared with thousands he killed, directly or indirectly. Recently, Franco's remains were exhumed and buried in his family tomb. According to the Spanish government, it was necessary to reclaim the memorial for the people who perished during the Civil War. However, the Valley of the Fallen was a symbol for Franco's followers for decades. It's hard to know how long it will take to heal the wounds around the Valley of the Fallen. Number 7. The Statue of Don Juan de Ñote in New Mexico Colonialism has a dark history filled with cruel and inhumane practices. At the seventh spot, we brought you the story of the statue of a nasty character of Spanish North American colonization. Juan de Ñote was a Spanish conqueror. He had permission from Spain's king to colonize American territory, more specifically the land that we now know as New Mexico. He was brutal, according to the records. Some documents suggest that he used amputation and arbitrary executions against the natives, the Acoma Pueblo people. Oñate became so infamous that the Spanish Empire put him on trial and found him guilty of cruelty, immorality, and false reporting. Then, it isn't surprising that his statue became so controversial. The local government built the statue in the 1990s in Alcalde, New Mexico. Although some see it as an homage to the man who founded the early towns that became El Paso and Santa Fe, 
Others see it as a disgusting and unfair representation of a cruel ruler who almost eradicated the Acoma Pueblo people. The statue has been vandalized many times over the years. In December 1997, the most significant attack happened, when the statue's right foot was sawed off in the middle of the night. The foot was missing for 20 years until a group of people called the Friends of Acoma claimed responsibility. In 2017, the left foot was painted red, alongside the phrase, Remember 1680, the year of the Pueblo revolt that resulted in the massacre and slavery of hundreds of Acoma Pueblo at the hands of Oñate and his army. Number 6. The African Renaissance Monument in Senegal While it's harder to represent a movement than an individual, there are notable representations of ideals, like the Liberty Statue. However, at the sixth spot, we brought you the embarrassing story of a failed attempt to represent an alleged African Renaissance. The president of Senegal at the time, Abdoulaye Wade, ordered the construction of the massive monument. It took two years and over $27 million to build it. Most critics point out that it was only an absurd waste of money. All of the funds went to foreign companies, despite the alleged pan-African symbolism. From the symbolic and artistic point of view, the polemic goes on. The 170-foot tall statue displays characters that look like Soviet propaganda caricatures with African features, with evident machismo depicting a heroic man leading a defenseless woman with a single breast revealed. A final touch of controversy comes from Wade's intention to collect income due to intellectual property rights. Political adversaries stated the obvious against such an idea, since the monument should be good for the public. Number 5. The Brown Dog Statue in London Vivisection was a horrible practice. At spot number 5, we brought you the story of a statue inspired by vivisection critics. In 1903, the Brown Dog Affair outraged Londoners. People learned about animal abuse at University College London, where stewards and researchers experimented with live animals, including dogs. Although the medical professor who led such practices won the lawsuit, the public remained polarized. The brown dog was just one of many animals that suffered vivisections. To honor the animal's sacrifice, opponents of vivisection erected a statue in London's Battersea neighborhood. Almost immediately, there were riots and street fights between vivisectionists and their opponents. According to the media at the time and several documents, the statue was attacked many times. Then in 1910, the statue was destroyed. However, a new brown dog statue was unveiled in 1985 with the same controversial inscription that caused the original riots. Number 4. The Che Guevara Monument in Bolivia Che Guevara is one of the most controversial characters we know about. At spot number 4, we brought you the story of one of the monuments in his honor. The Bolivian jungle became Che Guevara's final destination. After decades of fighting to spread communism, he isolated his family and ally, Cuban dictator and revolutionary leader Fidel Castro. Known by many as an idealist, Che Guevara was short-fused, passionate, and cold-blooded. Luckily for all of us, Castro didn't pay too much attention to his advice when the missile crisis arose. Guevara was so determined to defeat capitalism that he was keen to start a nuclear war. La Higuera, Bolivia has been the home to Guevara's memorial since 1997. It was the town where Guevara was killed, allegedly with help from the CIA. The town's economy relies on this event, as well as the memorial itself. It's hard to say whether it's right to earn money on his death, or if he even deserves a memorial at all. Number 3. Fallen Angel in Madrid Only after Italy and the Vatican, Spain is one of the most influential Catholic countries in the world. At spot number 3, we brought you one of the most paradoxical sculptures in the world. Almost all angels are good. In fact, according to the Bible, we could say there was only one who wasn't. For some reason, Madrid is the home to the only public statue of the devil, while it is the capital city of one of the most traditionally Catholic countries. The statue is in Parque del Buen Retiro, 666 meters above sea level. The fallen angel is in the middle of a fountain. Beautiful without any demonic features itself, it has sinister demonic entities and reptiles around it. Lucifer is represented when he was cast out of heaven, inspired by a passage in John Milton's Paradise Lost. Sculptor Ricardo Belver cast the statue in bronze for the World's Fair in Paris. Then the Museo del Prado bought it. Afterward, the museum donated the statue to the city of Madrid. The local government inaugurated the figure in its location in 1885. Now get ready for today's best pick. A bronze butt extravaganza. Number 2. Best Pick Crazy Girl Statue in Las Vegas 
The most photographed sculpture in Las Vegas is about a group of showgirls dancing together, showing their curves. The Crazy Girl statue was the first in the Riviera Hotel Casino from 1988 until 2015. Later, it was moved to the Planet Hollywood Hotel Casino. The sculpture does seem to attract a lot of fans, so nobody could feel embarrassed taking a snap of the famous statue. According to some travelers, women usually stand next to the last button line, jutting hip and matching their derriers to those on the display. Creative, huh? Number 1. Monument to the Soviet Army in Bulgaria At the first spot, we found a particular monument that has become famous because it has been frequently and creatively vandalized. Since 2011, the monument to the Soviet Army in Bulgaria has been the subject of political pranks. The statue is occasionally painted like pop icons, different colors to demonstrate support to Russian dictators and so on. Local government does its best to keep the monument neat, but influencers exert their role to spread the protest against the Bulgarian government links to Russia. We enjoyed making today's video. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did.